In a realm where every smile conceals myriad thoughts and each handshake conveys more than a mere greeting, the authentic essence of a person often remains hidden. Today, we delve into the nuanced dynamics of trust and deceit, navigating through the intricacies of human connections with a Stoic perspective. The Stoics imparted that while we may not govern the actions of others, our responses and comprehension can mold the very fabric of our social bonds. Join me as we explore the invisible forces at play in daily interactions, uncovering the wisdom that can guide us to live not only successful, but also meaningful lives. Stay tuned as we dissect these subtleties, ensuring that by the end, you'll be better equipped to face the world not merely with caution, but with enlightened discernment. If you value our efforts here, a simple favor I ask is to hit the like button. Also, ensure you watch the entire video to fully grasp the essential insights and narratives we are about to share. Let's begin. This is someone who, at first glance, appears to understand you more profoundly than anyone else. They nod at all the appropriate moments, and their empathetic smiles seem custom-made just for you. But as time progresses, a troubling pattern emerges. You begin to realize that their understanding isn't driven by genuine care, but rather a strategic maneuver, exploiting your vulnerabilities for their own benefit. They are like chess players in social interactions, each move meticulously calculated not to aid you, but to advance their position. In your moments of sharing and vulnerability, they're not merely listening, they're gathering information. This data isn't stored to support you. Instead, it's often weaponized, used to steer you towards decisions and actions that serve their interests, not yours. Their facade of care is just that, a disguise. And beneath this mask is not the ally you believed you had, but a strategist who views relationships as tools to be manipulated rather than bonds to be cherished. Now, Stoicism teaches us to seek clarity over comfort, truth over pleasing illusions. Marcus Aurelius advised us to be cautious of the impressionable nature of our minds and the intentions of those around us. He would likely counsel us to observe not just what friends say, but what they do, their actions, how they speak about other friends in their absence, how they handle your secrets, and how they respect your boundaries are the true indicators of their character. So how do you deal with a manipulative friend? Start by establishing firm, clear boundaries. Share selectively, understanding that not every internal thought requires external validation, especially from someone with questionable motivations. Gradually distance yourself from their influence and invest more in relationships that foster positivity and growth. Genuine friends enrich your life and inspire you to expand rather than contract. They add depth to your existence through support and genuine care, not diminish it through manipulation and deceit. This individual seems determined to find fault in everything around them. Every project you start, every idea you present, every aspect of your personality might never seem adequate to them. Their feedback, often missing the warmth of constructive criticism, feels more like relentless judgment gradually eroding your confidence and self-esteem with each remark. The perpetual critic often masquerades as just being honest or wanting to help you improve. But there's a thin line between helpful criticism and discouraging nitpicking. Their persistent critiques can create a toxic environment where, instead of growing, you find yourself second-guessing every action and word, fearing criticism. This stifles creativity and initiative, causing you to doubt your abilities and worth. Marcus Aurelius once said, reject your sense of injury and the injury itself disappears. This potent stoic reminder teaches us not to internalize the harsh words or negative views of others. Stoicism encourages us to consider the source of criticism and reflect on whether there is truth and value in it. If there is something to be learned, use it to your advantage. If not, let it slide off you like water off a duck's back. To handle a constant critic, it's crucial to maintain perspective. Understand that their criticism says more about their own worldview, insecurities or personal frustrations than it does about your capabilities or worth. Create boundaries to protect your mental space. You can listen, evaluate, and then decide whether to accept or disregard their words. Engage with them from a position of strength, acknowledging the feedback without letting it diminish your sense of self-worth. In Stoic practice, we learn to focus on our own actions and reactions, which are within our control, rather than trying to control the opinions or behavior of others, which are not. By applying this principle, you can preserve your inner peace and continue your journey of personal growth, even in the face of constant criticism. At first glance, they seem like the most personable individuals you could meet, 
With a broad smile, they'll ask about your day and make all the right sounds that suggest they care. But as you might soon realize, their warmth is shallow, more like a puddle than a welcoming ocean. These individuals are social butterflies, gracefully flitting from one group to another, never settling long enough to form deep, meaningful connections. In the realm of these superficially friendly people, interactions are often a series of pleasant exchanges that skim the surface of politeness, but never dive into the essence of true friendship. They might be at every party and present in all your social circles, but when the chips are down, their presence is often as fleeting as their commitment. True friendship, as we understand it, isn't merely about sharing laughs in the sunshine. It's about standing together in the storm, something these individuals may find too intimidating. Stoicism teaches us the importance of authentic relationships and the value of a small circle of close friends over a vast network of acquaintances. Seneca emphasized the quality of friendships over quantity, advocating for relationships where mutual respect and sincerity prevail. He guided us to seek friends who reflect our own values and provide a stable, reliable presence in our lives. To navigate the realm of the superficially friendly, it's essential to recognize the signs early. Enjoy their company in those light-hearted moments that require nothing more than casual interaction. However, invest your emotional energy wisely. Reserve your deepest trust and vulnerabilities for those who have proven themselves in times of both joy and adversity. Cultivating discernment in your social interactions is not just wise, it is crucial to protect your emotional well-being and ensure that your circle remains genuine. You know the type. They nod in agreement and might even throw in a vague uh-huh, but you can tell they're not truly engaged. They're physically present, yes, but mentally they've checked out to some distant place far from the conversation at hand. It's like talking to a wall that occasionally nods. These interactions can be incredibly frustrating because they lack the fundamental essence of communication, genuine exchange and understanding. Relationships, whether personal or professional, thrive on mutual understanding and active engagement. When someone consistently fails to pay attention, it sends a clear message. What you're saying isn't important to them. This behavior not only stifles the flow of ideas, but also erodes the emotional connection that true listening can forge. Effective communication is a two-way street, and when it becomes one-sided, the relationship suffers. The stoic practice of present-mindedness teaches us to fully engage with the task at hand. For stoics like Marcus Aurelius, listening attentively is not just a courtesy, it's a duty. It's about respecting the person speaking to you by giving them your full attention, reflecting the stoic belief in the significance of every human interaction. If you find yourself frequently on the receiving end of an inattentive listener, there are a few stoic strategies you might employ. First, ensure your own communication is clear and engaging. Sometimes, simply asking direct questions can snap the listener out of their reverie and bring them back to the moment. If that doesn't work, a gentle call-out might be necessary. Let them know you've noticed their distraction and invite them back into the conversation. However, if the pattern persists, it might be worth considering the value this person adds to your life. Are they giving you the respect and attention you deserve? If not, it may be time to redirect your energy towards relationships where mutual engagement and respect are freely given. This type of person can be particularly challenging to deal with because they seem almost oblivious to the emotional landscapes of others. They navigate through life focused solely on their own needs and goals, often at the expense of those around them. Their conversations may revolve overwhelmingly around their achievements, their problems and their perspectives, with little regard for anyone else's. In interactions with an empathy-lacking individual, you might find that your feelings and experiences are consistently dismissed or outright ignored. This isn't just about a lack of emotional intelligence, it's a fundamental disconnect in recognizing and valuing the humanity in others. Such individuals often leave a trail of bruised relationships behind them, puzzled as to why their interactions are fraught with conflicts and misunderstandings. Stoicism offers a profound remedy to this mindset. It teaches us the importance of looking beyond ourselves and understanding that the human experience is interconnected. Stoics like Epictetus emphasized the role of empathy in human ethics. He taught that we should listen and respond to others with kindness and understanding, recognizing that we are all part of a larger community, each with our own struggles and triumphs. If you find yourself dealing with someone who lacks empathy, Stoicism advises not to meet their indifference with anger or resentment, 
Instead, see this as an opportunity to practice patience and to lead by example. Show them empathy, not because they necessarily deserve it, but because it's the virtuous thing to do. However, it's also important to set boundaries. Protecting your emotional well-being is crucial, and sometimes that means limiting your exposure to those who drain it. Engaging with an empathy-lacking individual requires a balance of compassion and self-preservation. While you can attempt to model empathetic behavior, you must understand that not every internal thought needs external validation, especially from someone whose motivations are questionable. Slowly distance yourself from their influence and invest more in relationships that bring positivity and growth. Real friends enhance your life and inspire you to expand rather than contract. They add layers to your existence through support and genuine care, not subtract from it through manipulation and deceit. This person seems determined to find fault in everything around them. Every project you undertake, every idea you propose, every facet of your personality might never seem good enough for them. Their feedback, often missing the warmth of constructive criticism, feels more like relentless judgment, gradually eroding your confidence and self-esteem with each remark. The constant critic often masquerades as merely being honest or wanting to help you improve, but there's a thin line between helpful criticism and discouraging nitpicking. Their persistent critiques can create a toxic environment where, instead of growing, you find yourself second-guessing every action and word, fearing criticism. This stifles creativity and initiative, causing you to doubt your abilities and worth. Marcus Aurelius once said, reject your sense of injury, and the injury itself disappears. This profound stoic reminder urges us not to internalize the harsh words or negative perceptions of others. Stoicism encourages us to consider the source of criticism and to reflect on whether it holds truth and value. If there is a lesson to be learned, use it to your benefit. If not, let it slide off you like water off a duck's back. To handle a constant critic, it's vital to maintain perspective. Understand that their criticism reveals more about their own worldviews, insecurities or personal frustrations than it does about your abilities or worth. Establish boundaries to protect your mental space. You can listen, evaluate and then decide whether to accept or disregard their words. Engage with them from a position of strength, acknowledging the feedback without letting it undermine your sense of self-worth. In Stoic practice, we learn to concentrate on our own actions and reactions, which are within our control, rather than trying to influence the opinions or behavior of others, which are not. By embracing this principle, you can safeguard your inner peace and advance in your journey of personal growth, even when faced with constant criticism. At first glance, they appear to have everything together. They exude confidence, charm, and a sense of stability that can be incredibly appealing. They often step into leadership roles with ease and seem to handle challenges effortlessly. However, as you get closer, you start to see cracks in the facade. Beneath the polished exterior lies a person who might be grappling with insecurities, anxieties or hidden troubles. This type of individual can be particularly perplexing because their outward appearance often doesn't match their internal state. They might project an image of having everything figured out, but in reality, they could be struggling with their own doubts and fears. This disconnect can lead to misunderstandings in relationships, as others might assume they don't need support or empathy. Stoicism teaches us the value of authenticity and self-awareness. Marcus Aurelius wrote, If someone can prove me wrong and show me my mistake in any thought or action, I shall gladly change. I seek the truth, which never harmed anyone. The harm is to persist in one's own self-deception and ignorance. This stoic principle encourages us to look beyond appearances and understand the true nature of things, including people. When dealing with someone who seems superficially confident, it's important to approach them with empathy and an open mind. Recognize that their external confidence might be a shield for deeper vulnerabilities. Offer genuine support and create a space where they feel safe to express their true selves. This approach fosters trust and can lead to more meaningful and authentic relationships.